this is going to be my uh, next open wrt uh, device uh, i showed this uh, device a couple of times i discussed about it uh, in few episodes uh, uh, this is uh, an x86 uh, based uh, routing uh, platform uh, you can also use this as uh, an x86 based uh, wi-fi router and uh, it's quite interesting because it is uh, having good configuration and it's a fanless uh, PC. You can use this as a mini PC or you can use this as uh, any firewall device or uh, any network router. You can uh, use this as a PFSense router. And as well as uh, in this uh, case, I'm using this as an OpenWRT router. So uh, before uh, shooting this episode, I have uh, got, you know, OpenWRT image. I have burnt the same in a... SD card, micro SD card. Uh, you can do this in a USB or you can even burn it on a hard drive or something like that. So I just want to fire this and I want to just, you know, get a sense of OpenWRT in the same. OpenWRT is a highly customized, optimized, you know, embedded uh, uh, Linux uh, platform uh, so that you can uh, make networking devices. I have discussed uh, quite an amount of time about uh, OpenWRT in the previous episodes. Even recently I shot an episode, you can see there, OpenWRT embedded Linux on a Dragino V2 board. So that one is uh, this board, okay, over here. So. Uh, you know this is the board uh, in case you haven't watched you know this is the board so this is my Dragino v2 board so this is uh, a MIPS processor and it's a very much underperforming uh, device you can't even compare this with the Raspberry Pi it's going to lack the performance but the good part is unlike Raspberry Pi this is made to work as a network device you can see that there are two ports you can configure this as a LAN port WAN port and uh, stuff like that so you can make this as a a network router or some special bridge and stuff like that and it has this um, Atros chip here. So this is a MIPS processor. Okay, this is not to be confused as ARM processor. So this is uh, one platform but on the other side uh, this you know what uh, is the main issue with this uh, platform is its lack of performance. Okay, so that's where you can get this you know full featured performance with some platform like this. Uh, you can see here it has this uh, you know low power uh, DDR3 RAM and I suppose this is a 4GB stick or 2GB stick something like that and uh, other than that it has this uh, SATA ports and stuff. So if you want you can even install the hard drive and uh, it's quite interesting and uh, it came with this uh, uh, PCIe Wi-Fi module uh, for some reason I have removed the same so you can just uh, put it over here and you can screw it and then uh, you have this antenna wire so, so once if you do this uh, you can even use this and configure with OpenWRT as a regular Wi-Fi router so I have a choice if I don't want uh, my uh, Xiaomi router I can even uh, make this as a full-fledged router and then uh, I can use this uh, with OpenWRT or I can use this with uh, you know PFSense as well so uh, I thought uh, let me just uh, you know power the same and uh, we can just quickly walk through uh, and this is unlike uh, the Dragino because this is a full-fledged x86 uh, device so what I can do is it comes with this type of a base and uh, once you put on this base you can see there it looks almost uh, you know similar to any you know wireless uh, router so this is what it is and uh, I can do a quick zoom in so the board looks almost like this uh, yep you can see here uh, you can uh, connect uh, MSATA over here uh, let me just zoom further hope you can see okay yes so let me just a little bit give a focus yes so you can see here uh, you now this side is the MSATA okay and the m setter currently i'm using it on my hp laptop and uh, this is that you know pci you know slot so you can put that and you can see here it has two you know setup ports you can even make this as a nas uh, uh, device and uh, stuff so if you can plug this uh, regular uh, sata cable you can see there uh, it came with this small sata cable and it has this l type you know bracket over here uh, you can put this and then uh, you can put any SSD and uh, stuff like that. So if I plug, it goes in like this. And other than that, you can see here for power of hard drives, you have this 
sort of an adapter of course you can't connect with you know regular full sized you know three and of inch uh, you know drives uh, you can only use this uh, you know small laptop hard drives okay other than that even interestingly it has this id connector as well so the main purpose of this device is to make little bit multi purpose so that you can you know uh, let me just disconnect this sata cable yep so the main purpose of this uh, board is uh, to make it uh, quite you know multi purpose so that you can make it as any you know uh, uh, you know a networking device or something like that or otherwise you can make it as a some kind of a server and things like that and also you can see here it has this extra board and with this uh, you can connect any sd card and uh, stuff like that but the uh, you know usb devices you connect here is going to work more like a, you know usb hard drives and it is go not going to be supported for any usb keyboard mouse and stuff so you can see here i have just taped down so that to, to prevent any dust but other than that you can see here you, you can put your sd card micro sd card here standard sd card here and usb you know uh, thumb drives over here but not to be used for you know uh, keyboard and uh, you know uh, mouse and uh, such kind of peripherals okay so that's what it's quite interesting i have even uh, removed this board uh, somewhere you can uh, find the screws over here here and you can remove the board and then uh, you can have a look at its uh, processor and stuff so anyway i don't want to screw this uh, let me just adjust this back so that uh, we are good to go yes so that's what it is and uh, this side you can see here um, it has this uh, Uh, standard ethernet ports so both are uh, a gigabit ethernet uh, nic cards inbuilt nic cards and uh, you have this usb 3 you know ports and uh, standard display and uh, things like that it's good thing is it has both hdmi and as well as this uh, vga connector and as well as you can connect this uh, audio jack and uh, over here i'm sorry this is the power and here is that uh, microphone and uh, speaker and stuff so you can even use this as small uh, multimedia device and stuff so that's the main intent it's kind of highly versatile and this is the reason i got it long ago so i i still like this device uh, recently it is having some issue of some random boot reboots and stuff i need to investigate maybe it's a faulty power supply or something like that there are no capacitors or something to debug over here and i have even uh, you know opened the board and flipped it uh, nothing i found anything odd okay so that's all so it's interesting what we can do is we can plug this over here like i said you can't plug it in this usb port you should use uh, one of this usb ports and it comes with this uh, standard bios so you don't have to worry about uh, any embedded uh, sort of a stuff so there is no such thing it comes with standard bios and you can choose uh, which is your boot drive and uh, stuff just like any other pc okay so uh, let's keep it over here and uh, i can play, you know unplug this uh, hdmi cable from raspberry pi and uh, we can plug to the same and what we can do is uh, we can just keep it over here and uh, here is the power so it takes around 2 uh, amps or something like that 12 volts and 2 amps so this is uh, more than enough if you have uh, i mean this is the power supply it came with okay so if you have much uh, better power supply maybe you can think about using it but it came with this i'm not sure how far it is good okay so like i said it has uh, some issue recently i have not used it for a couple of uh, years and then uh, I, when i started using uh, last year it was all working fine and then again this year when i thought about using this it is having this kind of some weird issue okay so let me just connect the same before that we can uh, you know choose this monitor as a vga in okay i'm sorry the hdmi port okay so once it is done we can connect and uh, we can choose to go inside bios yeah you can see here uh, it's just showing this so we can go back once again uh, let me connect this keyboard let me connect uh, there is this additional keyboard i can use this as well so i can connect this keyboard and we can explore anyway open wrt doesn't come with any ui so there is no question of 
connecting any mouse okay so we can connect this keyboard and uh, we can go to the BIOS yep so looks good so we can just reboot and uh, it's just quickly booting so I can do one thing I can just do a hard reboot I think it is not going inside BIOS okay ah oh, I missed it I think Dell is the you know uh, key to get into BIOS so we just do once again yep so you can see here we are inside BIOS so unfortunately I can't capture this because this is not any VM or something but anyway I can do a close-up uh, after a very quick walkthrough so let me choose the boot device uh, USB mass storage device yes it is enabled um, let me just see save changes and exit yes let's see if it boots it still has that issue I'm not sure so we can connect to some different port and uh, hope it works this time or otherwise I can put it in different card reader and stuff so let's see okay I tested that uh, USB drive on a laptop and it is working fine so yeah you can see here this time it is uh, showing this option so we can if you you know choose the same it goes inside open wrt so what i can do is i can point the camera a little bit towards the monitor and then i can show quickly the bios option so this is like any other x86 but the exciting part is uh, it can be used as uh, any you know router or any uh, uh, than just a router you can use it as a vpn device you can use it as some uh, kind of uh, you know network encryption device you know compression device and stuff like that and uh, that's why we have these two dedicated ports and both are uh, you know 1 gbps and if you do any packet processing and stuff uh, may not be you can support wire speeds but still you can support up to 300 mbps or 500 or 600 mbps depending on your load and if you just do plain routing something with pf sense or even this case open wrt then it supports almost the wire speed 960 mbps to 980 mbps you will easily get with a setup like this okay so uh, I can little bit uh, zoom uh, towards uh, you know my screen so that you can have a look okay so let me turn this camera and uh, let me do a quick focus and uh, you can probably have a look okay so hope uh, that is good enough so let me get the focus yes so hope that is good enough so we can do one thing is we can uh, reboot and uh, we can go inside the BIOS oh that's quite fast yes so you can see there uh, we are inside the BIOS and uh, you can see there uh, this is an Intel uh, Celeron uh, CPU at uh, so and so frequency and uh, it has two cores and two threads it doesn't have any you know hyper threading and uh, stuff like that and uh, uh, the you know uh, yeah the memory is uh, around uh, you know 2 GB I can even put my laptop memory that's fine I am not using this so I am not uh, you know interested in terms of changing the RAM okay and for open wrt or pf sense this is more than enough okay so you can see there it has all these options and the most important uh, thing is this uh, gigabit ethernet you can see there and it uh, shows uh, the mac address of the same so you can see there you can change any specific settings and other stuff so you can you know change the same and uh, this is an intel uh, gigabit nic card you can see it is so and so 82574l so that's the controller i suppose okay so that's what it is and other than that you have other things and uh, here i just enabled uh, to boot from usb mass storage okay so this uh, no this uh, bios uh, save changes and exit yes so once you do the same you can see here we are inside uh, the linux uh, grub prompt once again 
so this uh, bias uh, looks more like a server uh, you know bias uh, so it doesn't look like a you know sort of a pc but uh, you know it it is quite you know good because we have everything pre built into that device so let's boot into open wrt in fact this is the first time i'm booting in the same because earlier i tested with the laptop i'm not sure whether how far this works so let me just a bit zoom out so that you can see the prompt over here so when i type any commands you can have a look so yeah 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 you can see there uh, since uh, there is no network uh, is attached and network uh, cable is attached it is showing this and it has this unique way of things and this is the reason of you know shooting this video because i i thought it is interesting you to have a look so you can see there it shows a br lan but the link is not ready so if you press enter you, you can see there it shows open wrt prompt let me zoom out a bit and then grab the focus so that you can have a better look yes hope that is good enough so here is the fun part if you do if config and if config uh, less or something uh, you can see there it has this special uh, port br lan and here is where the ip address is assigned and then uh, you have this uh, you know one uh, nic card this is the other nic card the other nic card is not shown up again uh, you can enable that it is all fine uh, and that's about it so you can see generally the you know settings of open wrt is in uh, somewhere in etc uh, config and you can come here and you can see uh vim network settings and you can see there it has uh, all this uh, you know things so here there is this uh, one nic card is uh, uh, i mean one interface is uh, linked to this uh, bridge port you can see there so this is uh, a regular uh, you know bridge control next uh, kernel bridging so brctl show uh, you can see there br lan and uh, this nic card is linked to this you know bridge port uh, i want uh, even that eth1 to be displayed so i want to see if config minus a and if i type minus a you can see there it shows up over here so the nic card is there but it is not been enabled uh, i can do one thing is if config uh, eth1 up and uh, i can do this i i can just do if config you can see now it shows up okay if config less and you can see here br lan uh, i mean they kept the name as br lan the open wrt is default name you can keep any name you want when you create any bridge interfaces so you can see there it is uh, eth0 is there eth1 is there and none of them have any ip address because both of them are part of this bridge so you can see there you have two interfaces earlier hope you remember there is no interface getting shown as eth1 and below we have loopback and stuff so that's what and uh, now if you do uh, say bridge control uh, show you should able to see this interface and now we can do one more thing is uh, you know bridge control add if eth1 and we can add br lan it uh, uh i'm sorry add if br lan this is your uh, bridge interface and eth1 and if you do the same you can see it shows that it has entered in promiscuous mode so it is uh, ready for to work as a you know interface for linux kernel bridging and if you do br ctl show you can see there br uh, lan and it has these two interfaces so both of these interfaces are part of the same so once again if you do if config or something uh, you should uh, see all it is you know good to go so you have this port and uh, since it's a common uh, port they have assigned ip address this is also optional if you don't want you can even uh, take out this ip address and you can just make this entire thing to be working as a linux you know uh, bridge so at this moment it is going to work more like a linux bridge rather than a router okay so that's that's what it is because this is not the way it should be configured but uh, to just to show a demo i have done the same and in case if you reboot it is going to vanish and uh, it is no more uh, going to have this stuff 
okay so this is going to vanish because we are not storing this anywhere and uh, to store or to configure forever that is why we have this uh, you know cat network that's why you have this uh, config file for open uh, wrt in this config file you can configure and then make it a part of that so maybe i can attempt okay i'm not sure whether it works or not so maybe i can attempt a vim network and i can add uh, one more stuff one more entry uh yes so here option uh, interface okay it's already in insert mode so option uh, if name and uh, we can type uh, eat one and uh, hope that works and i'm not really sure uh, about this uh, config file of open wrt i'm still new to the same i'm working on some firmware and some kernel optimization and some other ST and stuff so i'm not really sure so what we can do is we can reboot and see that if it gets restored okay so we see the same if it gets restored it is fine if it doesn't work then we can revert back and uh, stuff like that okay the reason is if you don't set in the config file it is not going to stay okay so let's just boot in the same you can see how fast it boots because it's a very lightweight kernel this is not your standard ubuntu or fedora or something okay so it's going to be quite fast and it's an embedded linux uh, okay so you can see it's booted up uh, if config you can see now even this interface have come up unlike before and uh, the main thing is brctl uh, show uh, yeah uh, you can see there it is not accepting that uh, you know eat zero or something i'm really not sure i think i have done some goof up or something so etc uh, config vim network i am not sure whether i'm supposed to do this or not i need to see the you know specs of open wrt okay so i think i'm doing some mistake here so i can just you know delete this line and uh, we can uh, revert back okay escape dd Something. it is not working uh, i can just do this way yes so something and uh, save the same yes so we can just do this and uh, if i reboot uh, it should uh, like you know brctl show i don't want this port if i reboot hopefully it should show it's zero or something okay so let me reboot and i can show a very quick demo okay so i reboot the same yes yeah it is up and uh, show brct brctl show yes as you can see it is reverted back and if config something we type you can see there it is no more displaying eth1 and the stuff so i can do also one more thing is let me get the zoom out okay i know that my desk looks dirty here <laughs> okay uh, so i can do one more thing is uh, uh, you know what we can do is uh, we can connect this yeah the focus is fine what we can do is we this is uh, connected to that uh, xiaomi router uh, this is uh, you know this is where you know it connects to the internet what we can do is we can connect to the wan port and see that uh, wan port gets automatic dhcp ip and uh, because it it is supposed to work as a router okay okay the open wrt is supposed to work as a router so the moment i connect to this uh, wan port okay hopefully the other one is the man port i am not sure how far this cable is yes so if i connect to this uh, you know the port below the cable is quite tight let me just pull a bit yes if i connect to this van uh, port yes and uh, we see if it pulls that ip from dhcp of xiaomi router or not 
okay so nothing is happening maybe that is uh, the land port or something i'm not sure because it can be either of the port okay we don't know and what i can do is i can swap and we can see if it works hmm. yep something is happening uh, page up page up page up page up uh, it shows uh, it is uh, you know it shows some kind of message and uh, looks like it is connected to port e0 okay hope uh, you can see there okay in the camera i can able to see it is e0 i think that is e0 and the below is that uh, you know the van port in that case i can disconnect this and uh, i can connect it to the other port and hopefully okay yeah the link is down and so and so it shows that same uh, what i can do is i can just do if config uh, if config uh, eth one up and uh, if it is able to get any dhcp address then it is well and good okay so yeah it is since it is uh, not configured in uh, etc okay config vim network uh, you can see there it is not configured over here so obviously i think it is not going to work so i need to set the same i need to say that it should come via dhcp and stuff so i need to do the same okay anyway i may do the same uh, later and uh, in that case i can do also some other uh, demo for you guys okay so what we can do is um, uh, brctl uh, we can again uh, set this as a bridge okay brctl show and i can do once again add uh, that eth1 as one of the member of this uh, you know bridging interface see you have two things here you have uh, a routing uh, stuff in general if you don't tamper this uh, it is going to work as a router the other port is going to work as its uh, wan port and uh, this is going to work as a LAN port and if it has more ports uh, then you can configure all of them as this uh, members of this you know bridging interface so naturally you'll get uh, the same uh, stuff like what you get uh, those uh, commercial uh, wi-fi routers so let me just a little bit zoom out so that my head is not scary okay so uh, the commercial routers whatever you get it will generally have more than one lan port so that's what it is all of these lan ports are going to be the members of this uh, bridging uh, you know interface you know interface so in this case since uh, this device has just you know two ports uh, what is happening is uh, one it is taken as a you know a lan port the other one it is just leaving out okay so that's what is happening over here so anyway uh, i can do one thing is i can put all the ports as a bridging interfaces so in that case uh, once again we can do this uh, brctl add if uh, and uh, br uh, lan eth1 okay so now both are you know connected as the bridging interface so both are going to be working as a lan port so since the internet is connected to one of the ports what i can do is i can connect some laptop or something and uh, i can put it in dhcp and uh, we can able to get that ip from this open wrt please note open wrt have a dhcp server here i can show netstat minus l and if you go somewhere here you should able to see it has this uh, dhcp router uh, i mean the dhcp server so you can see here dhcp v6 server and uh, stuff so anyway it, it works as a dhcp server which i you know which is quite common in open wrt let it be you know this kind of a device or anything this is quite common okay so what we can do is quickly i can pull one laptop and uh, we can can connect to this lan port i mean we can connect to this port there is no lan and van here because both the ports are configured uh, to work under that switch so essentially this entire uh, board is working as a network switch okay <laughs> and uh, uh, the switching is happening in linux kernel rather than 
uh, it happens in a form where like you buy this uh, cheap 8 port switch or uh, even those uh, you know commercial uh, uh, grade uh, enterprise grade uh, switches okay so that's what well, uh, what I did is I grabbed this uh, laptop uh, uh, you can have a look over here. So anyway, I'm going to do some uh, zoom up of this uh, You know screen uh, shortly. So what we can do is we can connect uh, This uh, cable to this one of the ports we can connect to this other port uh, This it is assuming as E0 and uh, what we do is we connect to this uh, laptop. Okay uh, uh, before that I can show you anyway I can take one screenshot uh, print screen and uh, let me just do a screen overlay okay yeah uh, I can show you it has uh, you know this port let me a little bit zoom okay so you can see there it has this LAN port okay ethernet port it doesn't I mean wired ethernet it doesn't have any IP whereas this is the wireless ethernet it got the IP from my Xiaomi router. So the thing is I configured this in uh, DHCP mode. Uh, I'll tab you can see there uh, it is configured as you know DHCP uh, stuff. So let me move this pointer IPv4 settings you can see there uh, there is nothing currently it is configured. Yes you can see there there's nothing it is configured it is just uh, you know DNS alone is configured but it has no IP. So that is why it has not got any IP uh, like a static IP or something. So what we do is uh, we can just connect this this orange cable. Okay, the moment I connect it should come up. Okay, so I just connected the same and if I do again this if config, hopefully this time it should get some kind of an IP if it gets successfully from that OpenWRT device. So yes. You can see it has got okay you can see there it has got in this one subnet range because uh, you know the open wrt is configured in that way so i can little bit try doing a ping to the routing uh, device of that wired ethernet because there are two routers here connected one is this uh, you know xiaomi router one is this open wrt router anyway any of the router you can reach okay so what i can do is ping uh, let me just type quickly and then show towards the camera. Okay, so ping 192.168.1.1.192.168.1.1. Yep. Uh, yeah, you can see there I just typed this command and uh, the moment I press enter, you can see there it is pinging that open wrt device and uh, i can uh, uh, just uh, cancel the same control c control c yep it stops and as well i can even ping my xiaomi router okay so 0 0.1 and it should work okay so this is what and uh, the funny thing is uh, you know it it is connected to these two routers and uh, uh, you know it is uh, both of them are in different subnets okay so that's what okay so i am not sure uh, you know this is going to reach internet the moment i disconnect uh, you know wireless uh, in the same so i can go to this uh, you know wi-fi settings and i can say disconnect and you can see there there is no more you know wireless ports enabled okay so it is not enabled anymore and uh, now if you do if config or something you should not see that you know wireless uh, port IP so you can see there there is no IP address over here and now if I ping to this stuff okay 1.1 1 .1, uh, yeah, I think the cable got loose okay now if I ping uh, something it is not reaching let me just debug this one okay I think I just snapped that cable or something Yeah, uh, I think the cable got snapped. So you can see there I have not even, uh, you know, done any sort of, you know, camera stop or something. So I want to keep this recording going on. Okay, so it's, it's fine. So, yep, you can see there. Uh, okay, so 
uh, it is now showing up and if I do this uh, thing it should work once again okay I, the cable got snapped up because the tab is broken okay so anyway so you can see there it uh, works fine and uh, now we can try reaching Google and see that if that device works like a network switch or something so maybe we can try that uh, hopefully it should not work anyway because it is in a different subnet versus that other side Xiaomi router is in a different subnet so essentially you need a router in between this subnet to that subnet okay so that is what so I am not sure I can't ping okay so ping uh, you know google dot com it should not work okay so that's what so I can tell you in case if you are new to networking I can tell you what is going on okay yes so we are back with the focus everything so so yeah so what is going on is uh, you know this uh, mission is anyway working as a dumb uh, switch uh, it is nowhere going to work as a router or something so it's just going to work as a switch but there is a hack what I can do is uh, in the laptop I can put a static IP as a zero subnet and then uh, it, it, it doesn't get any more this uh, DHCP address from this you know open WRT device I can't call it as a router because I have not configured as a router you can see there both ports are a part of a you know bridge interface so what happens is it works as a bridge and it works as a dumb you know bridge so there is no layer 3 context in that so I can do one thing is instead of you know one dot uh, subnet whatever it is getting see if you do if config it is getting this 1.194 so over here okay yes so you can see there 1.194 so what i can do is i can go to network settings and i can set it as you know static ip so it's quite easy i can go to this network settings and uh, let me do this quickly off the screen edit connections and uh, settings Yes, I can now point towards the camera. So I have done quickly this IPv4 settings. Okay, so let me little more zoom so that you can have a clear look. Okay. Yes, you can see there I have done a static IP. So you can see there it's manual and I have changed its subnet. I have forced to take this uh, IP which is 76 and uh, 24 subnet and this is the Xiaomi router you know gateway IP so it is no more going to get any DHCP and we don't need this DHCP you know client in this laptop so let me just hit that save button and uh, I can just do a very quick disconnect and connect okay yes yes so I just quickly disconnected and connected and this time it didn't got any you know IP and it is initializing the port and if I do once again if config uh, you should able to see that it got this 76 IP so that's what so I know that this video is not like my regular videos I generally do in the PC but I felt since it's a networking setup you know we need to just you know do some way where I can kind of illustrate what is going on okay so you can see there it's uh, you know the IP is initialized and now I can do is I can uh, try pinging google.com directly because the open WRT is going to work as a dumb network bridge yes you can see there it works fine <laughs> and uh, we are able to reach the internet and the moreover you know you, if you notice we are still not connected to that wireless ethernet okay so that's what so let me just do this zoom yep so that's what uh, you know in this way you can use the open WRT device in a creative way and uh, this type of you know framework hardware framework is really versatile 
you know that's uh, not something you can easily get in a small uh, laptop or something always in a laptop you will have one port and at the same time you can use some intel nuc or something but you need to use those uh, no flimsy ethernet uh, adapters so usb to ethernet adapters and uh, stuff i even got one ethernet adapter let me show usually i show my gigabit ethernet adapter i i took got one more ethernet adapter let me quickly sh you know show to you so that uh, you know you will get some picture so if you need something like that you can get this adapter let me grab this one yes so this is a ethernet adapter you can see there okay uh, you can buy something like this so this is a 100 mbps uh, nic card so it is uh, you know going to support usb yeah usb 2 standard it is not usb 3 uh, you know network adapter so essentially it is not going to give you any gigabit ethernet you know connectivity so this something like this you can uh, plug to your uh, laptop and uh, what happens is it is going to give you an additional ethernet port and now this laptop essentially you can use something like that open wrt and what you can do is uh, you can use this laptop almost as same as that you know device okay so that's what instead of you doing all this tinkering you know this device is quite uh, compact handy and uh, quite versatile okay and uh, you can see there there is no fans and uh, nothing it's a fanless device uh, and uh, it is good to be used as a router or networking um, appliance a switch or something like that so in my case since i work in a uh, lot of network research and also you know projects uh, other than the toffee traffic whatever it is so it, it things like this are quite handy i can't use always a platform like this okay this is a mips board if i need to compile uh, some uh, binary it is again cumbersome to put and port onto this and it is quite cumbersome so those type of things if i need it in open wrt okay even if you guys are a developer watching this you know if you are uh, supposed to work in open wrt maybe you can prototype in x86 and then you can uh, port it onto this mips platform or some arm based platform and then you can test your stuff okay so things are possible so essentially even this sci-fi boot it is going to look quite identical as you know that one so there is no change you will find but the point is i hope you've seen uh, you know in this case the cable is connected to the laptop the laptop i have configured initially as dhcp so it is pulling the ip address from this device because this is going to work as a dhcp server this is working as a dhcp server and at the same time it is not enabled to work as a router because the other port i have connected as a part of a you know bridging interface called as br lan and uh, essentially you have eth0 eth1 connected to this uh, br lan and uh, so once you do that it is going to work as a switching or bridging device so naturally it is going to do dumb bridging and it is not going to do any routing so you don't need to have any per port inter interface uh, ip address and uh, you know stuff like that so that's what so so that's why uh, it is working as a dumb uh, bridge so to prove the point that it is working as a bridge what i have done is i have chained the laptop ip to the subnet which matches my xiaomi router and then i connected through this you know device and now what is happening is i can able to reach the internet and it just works fine you know through this interface and this works as a network uh, you know bridge or a network switch so that's what and uh, in case if you get its ip address uh, through its dhcp ip address and uh, initially like you've seen if you get that ip address to this laptop you cannot connect to internet because this entire thing is in a different subnet versus that is in a different subnet so this is the issue so that is why it is not going to work so to cope up what you need to do is you need to configure one of the ports you know currently it is not getting via dhcp so you need to initialize that other port I need to check uh, how to do the same and I need to have a look in uh, you know open wrt etc network config how to do the same so I think they have not done as a part of default setting so I need to have a look and I can enable dhcp or something so once I do that what happens is it should support uh, you know routing I can uh, before conclude uh, concluding this video I can also do one quick check whether it's uh, 
you know ip forward is enabled or not okay so we can just do a quick check uh, where is this keyboard okay yes so what we can do is we can go to this uh, proc folder proc yes let me again zoom the camera so you can have a look yes so you can see there okay cd proc and uh, i can do is uh, proc sys net ipv4 and uh, cat ip underscore forward uh, you can see there by default open wrt enables as one uh, which itself tells that it is you know always pre-configured to work as a network router uh, having said i'm not sure why they are not enabling that other interface okay so that is my big question okay so yeah so hope you have uh, learned something at the same time hope you find something interesting over this uh, open wrt should not be compared with the pf sense or something because pf sense you will get a full fledged routing uh, context but pf sense works in free bst uh, versus open wrt is uh, linux based uh, apart from that you have this microtik and other stuff so i do generally even uh, work with microtik but microtik is completely different the microtik you know works as um, a standard uh, cisco like you know network appliance okay you can make it as a network uh, uh, switch or router whatever and you get all this command uh, options uh, you know it has its own rich cli command set and uh, you can choose to use those things and uh, microtik is completely different so this is what so again uh, you know um, if you have anything to discuss or if you have any questions related to the same I suggest you discuss in uh, YouTube comments and if you like videos like this, uh, please do support the Linux channel by subscribing and as well as hit the like button. It is going to help me a lot. And besides, if you want to discuss anything in private, uh, be in touch via mail. So if I miss something or if uh, the camera is not able to capture, I will try my best to include any screenshots and stuff so that you can find it quite comfortable. See, this thing I can connect to my PC and I can do this uh, stuff via my PC and stuff, but I don't want to fiddle around my PC. It's a production system. It also acts like my server. It has so many things other than this. I have my client stuff and other stuff. I don't want to fiddle around with my PC all the time. So this laptop is fine. Usually my wife uses this laptop. So it is still fine. And moreover, I don't use this laptop's um, you know wired port so it is still fine so in case uh, if you want to have some type of a test setup or home lab or something you need to have all these things always networking i do get a lot of questions uh, from students and as well as uh, youngsters who are just new to the industry that i want to learn networking and i want to do stuff and stuff you know always i would like to mention that uh, you know reading some books or something is not going to help you you need to have some hands-on experience and uh, this is also going to be applicable even for uh, network assist admin network admins also so you need to always have this type of hands-on and uh, you know you need to have some equipment either in the real world or put these things in the you know virtual uh, uh, you know stuff in virtual box or whatever in as vms usually i show these kind of you know demos in vms and i thought it's high time let me show with the physical devices so that uh, you get that real sense of things how it you know happens and you must have also noticed if the cable is loose you can see there if this uh, cable is uh, broken but uh, again it's just you know a test uh, thing i can use it for this kind of temporary stuff so the big issue is in a VM when you set up all these things it's going to work a lot more reliable because you have all these things preset and uh, it's just going to work but in the real world you can see there okay anything can happen anything might uh, snap and uh, it may not work there is a corrosion in the cable or something is not properly connected like what you seen this uh, USB card reader is not connected earlier properly and it is not you know booting it is failing to boot in open wrt so things like that are quite common in a physical world versus if you have a vm setup it's going to be fairly predictable but you can focus on other aspects of 
you know working on the things so it's quite interesting always to have both physical setup and as well as you know virtual setup so hope you enjoyed this uh, video so this is my you know open uh, wrt on x86 uh, on a dedicated uh, fanless uh, uh, generic x86 platform like what you have seen it's quite uh, you know modular it is quite uh, versatile like i said before you can put a couple of things and uh, even this uh, you know like i said you can even put this uh, wireless uh, stuff the reason i have removed this is i was using this as my uh, low power uh, device so whenever i don't use my pc i used to use this as my pc to watch youtube videos or casual browsing and uh, stuff like that so i was using like that for some time and i don't need this wireless interface i was using through wired interface so things like that and uh, also i have removed that m setter like i said i have removed that m setter uh, you know 32 gb uh, drive and then i have installed in this hp laptop because this laptop have that m setter you know support versus this dell doesn't have this is quite old versus this has that m setter interface and uh, i just use that uh, laptop for any such casual uh, stuff or sometime to do this uh, testing and other stuff so hope you enjoyed this walkthrough <laughs> if you have anything to discuss uh, post your queries in youtube comments or if you have anything to discuss in private be in touch via mail thanks a lot for joining me stay tuned have a nice day bye bye